Hey there YouTube, what is good? Crasher Chase is back at you with another Pokemon X and Y Pokemon analysis video, which also is going to feature some awesome set ideas. Now I do apologize for the almost two week hiatus, so actually it's been over two weeks. Um, I was actually in the middle of making <coughs> a video for Evolto, however, um, I completely ran into a roadblock, thus delaying... Uh, the process of the video, not to mention I was also incredibly busy with Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Uh, mostly a perfect IV breeding, which is totally a pain in the ass. Like, the process is easy, it's just really, really, really lengthy. Um, it all boils down to luck at the very end. Um, so in this video, as you see by the image, we are doing the title legendary for Pokemon Y, known as Evolto. So I'm going to be going over things like its typing, abilities, stats, and a few set ideas I have for you. So without further ado, let's get to it. So with Evolto, its ability is known as Dark Aura, which is exclusive only to Evolto, and what that does is it powers up your Dark type moves, which is also Stab, to a pretty decent level. And if you also factor in its offensive stats, which I will get into very shortly, it's going to be hitting pretty hard, <coughs> so that's always nice. The typing is known as Dark and Flying, which is pretty decent. I mean... Uh, it's not the best, considering that it does have a weakness to Stealth Rocks. However, um, due to Psychic-type Pokemon being very common in the Uber tiers, which I assume that Evolto's going into, it's going to keep the amount of Psychic-types in check, in my opinion. As for its stats... It really, really doesn't have any bad stats, as you can see. I mean, its speed is a bit to be desired at base 99, as in it's just barely going to be outpaced by base 100s, but again, it's a, it's not that bad at the same time. Um, as for its HP, it is at a very, very good 126, and if you pair that up with its 95 defense and 98 special defense, it can take some hits when it needs to. And its offensive stats, both being at uh, both attack and special attack, being at 131 apiece. I think that speaks for itself. It's just absolutely amazing. So with that, I am going to present to you how you can make use of Evolto's offensive stats, as well as a pretty decent uh, defensive set that I wanted to uh, make up. So here we go. So with this first set here, we're going to take full advantage of its awesome, specially oriented offenses. So the nature we're going to give it, you can either go with Modest or you can go with Timid to give it as much speed as possible. Um, Modest gives it slightly more special attack, and, team, and Timid gives it more speed. So if you don't really care that much about speed, then go with Modest. But if you want to outpace certain threats, then I would recommend go with Timid. The ability that we're using, it only has one ability, which is Dark Aura, which, if uh, you didn't catch it in the last section of the video, powers up uh, your Dark-type moves. I'm not entirely sure by how much, but <clears throat> by a considerable amount. I would think. The item for choice, you can either go with Life Orb to maximize your damage output at the cost of one tenth of your HP, or you can go with Leftovers to survive and increase your chance of longevity. The EV spread, 4 gonna go into HP, 252 into Special Attack, and 252 into Speed. Now the move set, we have Oblivion Wing, which is a new move that is not only introduced in 6th gen, but I believe Evolto is the only one that has this move. And what it is, is it's a base 80 flying type Giga Drain. Now, as opposed to Giga Drain healing only half your health, this heals, uh, I believe, 75%, um, which is incredible. So, <laughs> any Pokemon that is... Uh, going to be taking super effective damage, you're going to be healing back a ton of health. So it kind of mitigates the uh, the side effect of Life Orb. 
Uh, the next move that we have is Dark Pulse, which is its other stab type move, and it's going to get powered up by Dark Aura to an incredible level that is going to be very, very hard to switch into if uh, you don't resist it. Uh, the other move that we have is known as Focus Blast, and this offers really good coverage because both Flying and Dark uh, is uh, it's not the best combination in terms of offenses. However, if you round out with a fighting type move, it's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, uh, the fighting and dark type uh, attack combo is only resisted by the likes of Toxicroak and Heracross. Oh, and Halucha. However, Oblivion Wing completely uh, destroys those guys. So you're you have pretty much flawless coverage, I think. Now, its last move is known as Roost, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's a flying-type recovery move that heals half your HP, uh, which is also an awesome move for this guy to have, since it doesn't exactly have the best defenses. So I would recommend putting Roost on here. Also, again, another way to mitigate the side effects of Life Orb Recoil. That's pretty much the explanation for this set. Let's move on to another one. So this set idea utilizes the defensive capabilities of Evolatile. The nature that you can use, you can either use a calm nature or you can go with the bold nature. Either or, uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, calm reduces your physical attack and increases your special defense, while bold increases your physical defense and lowers your attack. The ability... Once again, Dark Aura. The item for choice, you can go with Leftovers, or you can go with Chestoberry, and I will explain the Chestoberry part in just a minute. The EV spread, <clears throat> you can go with 252 into HP, 128 into Physical Defense, and 128 into Special Defense to give you as much well-rounded defenses as possible, tanking hits from either the Physical or the Special side. The move set that we have, we're going to go once again with Oblivion Wing because it's a really good offensive move while it restores your HP, which is always nice. The next move that we have is known as Snarl, and while it might not be powerful, uh, even with the Dark Aura boost, it still won't be hitting for a lot, but it will be lowering your opponent's special attack by one stage. Therefore, the next time it goes to use a special attack on you, uh, it will be doing less damage, and therefore it will be harder for you to be taken down on the special side. Now, as for its last two moves, Rest and Sleep Talk. Uh, I really don't think I need to explain uh, what Rest and Sleep Talk does, but for those of you who are fairly new to this, I will explain. What Rest does is it heals you fully, status and all, for at least two turns uh, at the price of you being completely incapacitated. Now what Sleep Talk does is it somewhat mitigates the side effect of rest by choosing any of the three moves at random while you're asleep. So you have two-thirds of a chance to choose an offensive move which is always good. Now why I chose Chestoberry in, in one of the options is because if you don't want to stay asleep for two extra turns, what Chestoberry does is as soon as you fall asleep, you wake right back up, fully healed and ready to kick ass. So this basically wraps up the defensive set. I'm going to give you now a set that focuses on its physical attack, which is also really good and should not be ignored. So in this last set here, I present to you how, in my opinion, you can make the best use out of Evolto's physical attack. The nature that we're going to be using, you can either go with Adamant to further boost its attack and lower its special attack, or you can go with Jolly to further boost its speed and lower its special attack. Uh, again, uh, your preference, if you want a little bit of extra speed, go with Jolly. If you don't care, then go with Adamant. The ability, once again, Dark Aura. The item for choice, we got a few here. You can either go with Choice Scarf, 
uh, you can go with leftovers or you can go with life orb. If you want to be a hit and run fast attacker, go with choice scarf. Uh, if you want to have increased longevity, go with leftovers. Or if you want to be more versatile in the use of your moves, um, or I should say, if you want to have more freedom uh, with the use of your moves as opposed to being locked into one, you can go with life orb. The EV spread, 4 are going to go into HP, 252 into attack, and 252 into speed. The move set, I want you guys to take a look at this. Evolto gets Sucker Punch, and with its base 131 physical attack, and the fact that it's Stab, it's going to be hitting pretty freaking hard. So, uh, you know, if uh, you find uh, yourself being set up on uh, against, if you're... Against, like, say, an Arceus or something like that, or anything like that, uh, or if you are about to go down and you know the opponent's going to use an attacking move, you can use Sucker Punch as, like, a last resort, and who knows, you might even be able to take it out. Um, the next move that we have is U-Turn, which is very usable and very useful, I should say, on Evolto because it can function as a lead, almost. Um... The next move that we have is known as Foul Play, and what this is, um, it basically turns your opponent's physical attack against them. It's a base 95 dark type move, and say if someone was to uh, use Swords Dance on you, that is a perfect opportunity to use Foul Play, because they're basically beating themselves up, and they're going to be going down. And I also just want to note that Evolto has to be possibly the best uh, Ghost Arceus counter because it resists the likes of Shadow Force and it can easily take it out with Sucker Punch or Foul Play. Now the last move, we have Steel Wing. And it, you're probably wondering, why Steel Wing? Well, since Fairy types are now basically the new threat of... 6th gen, they're weak against steel types, so if you find yourself against a fairy type Pokemon, Steel Wing is your best option, because the other two moves are resisted by fairy. Or you can go with Roost, uh, to once again uh, increase your longevity even further and restore half your HP. I also want to make note, it does have two very good uh, physical stab flying type moves known as sky attack and if you want to use uh, power herb to get immediately fully charged and hit hard you can go with that but then again that kind of leaves you with no item a complete waste um, or you can go with acrobatics however there is no there for some reason uh, you can only find the normal gem in 6th gen, so I wouldn't exactly recommend using something like acrobatics unless they release flying gem, which I'm hoping is soon. So this is why the set looks like the way it is, and I hope you enjoy this set. Now, once again, I do apologize for the over two week hiatus. I will be uploading another video um, actually later on today, so stay tuned, and in the meantime, please enjoy this one. This is Crasher Chase signing out for now. Take care, everybody.